Well, it's been a good little while. What's up, you guys? Today, we are going to be talking about NBA scoring title. Who's going to win it for this season? And before I can jump into the video, uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. And school started up again. And more importantly, the NBA was kind of dead for a while. You know, the tail end of off season that just gets so dead. Literally nothing was going on NBA related. So, ugh, it was just like nothing. But now media day kind of just happened. And now there's training camps are getting started up. And things are starting to kind of pick up again. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to start my NBA predictions. So leave in the comments what I should predict next. But for now, let's jump into it. Roll film. scoring leaders and um, let's just look at the current scoring leaders bang right here okay that's a nice that's a very elite group that's a very elite group up there but I think it's gonna go a little bit differently this year but let's go ahead and just rule out some people all right number one currently on the list is Stephen Curry with 30.1 point points <laughs> okay now with Curry I mean let's just be honest, okay? We have Kevin Durant in the picture now. So, do you logically think that his numbers are gonna go up? Do you think they're gonna stay the same? It could be, but do I really think so? So, what does that leave? They're probably gonna go down. I'm not saying that his points would go down a lot, but if they even went down five points, he would already be down to 25.1 points, which is sixth on the scoring list. He really has no room to move. Otherwise, he's not winning the scoring title, which I don't think is gonna happen. So the next candidate that could possibly win the scoring title is Kevin Durant. Okay, yeah, no. Even when I say it out loud, it doesn't, doesn't really make sense. Think about it. You have Curry, Clay, Draymond, and Kevin on a team together, there's no way the value, their points are going to stay the same unless they all score that many points. But is that logical? Somebody's going to suffer point-wise. I think they're going to have a great flow, you know, if they share the ball and everything, but that means more hands are going to get the ball. So that's less points. You know? Kevin Durant's logically not going to win it. Who knows? I mean, uh, miracles could happen. Somebody could get injured. And Kevin Durant might have to step up, who knows? But as of right now, I don't think he's gonna win it. So those are some people that I don't think are really gonna win it. But let's just talk about people that could potentially win that didn't win last year. First one we'll talk about is Russell Westbrook. Now this is a very iffy one. Now he scored 23.5 points last season and he almost, he could have a triple double if he really wanted to. Dude is amazing, crazy. Now that Kevin Durant is gone out of the equation, he's the only leader on that team. He is the one. So if he has a ball in his hands and he wants to score it, he can score it. With that being said though, uh, he might be focused on trying to average a triple double or like keep his triple doubles record or whatever. So he might be trying to dish it off a little bit more and he might not be as focused on scoring. So, you know, he's not a lock for the scoring title, but you never know. Now the next player on the list is DeMarcus Cousins. Now, DeMarcus Cousins actually was fourth on the list and he scored 26.9 points, almost 27 points per game. And the thing with him is now he's kind of developed his three ball a little bit. So he's lethal. He is lethal. Also, Rondo is gone from the team. And Rondo wasn't even like that huge of a scorer, but even still, Rondo is gone, so it's now just Rudy Gay and DeMarcus Cousins, really, who are like, you know, more elite category of players. I mean, he was always their number one scoring option, but with one of the key three people out of the equation, he's gonna have that ball in his hands more, I feel like. So he could be a strong candidate for it. You know, he's been developing his game, played in Team USA, and looks really great out there. So he could very well be the next scoring leader. Now the next player is who I think has, is gonna take it. I think this guy's gonna take it, and it is... James Harden. James Harden scored 29.0 points per game last season. Now, think. Curry scored 30.1 points. Harden scored 29 points. 
That's a one point difference. If Curry's numbers slip even a little bit, he would have been number one. That's with Dwight Howard on his team. Dwight Howard just left his team. Who else is there but James? Also, he's gonna be playing point guard, guys. It has been confirmed. Check Bleacher Report, he's gonna be playing point guard. We learned that during media day. And, and so, he has the ball. I mean, obviously he used to bring the ball up a lot anyways, but now he is the point guard. What, like, what more does this guy need? He has the green light. There's no other person to share the ball with. I mean, there's obviously some other key people on the team that are great, blah, 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 but no. No one near Dwight Howard level or James Harden level to be trying to share the ball with like that. So, James Harden is a point guard with no other all-star caliber people to share the ball with. I don't know what else you need. I mean, the dude's gonna lock it down. I feel like he's the next scoring leader. But that's just my opinion. I wanna know what y'all think. Put it in the comments below. Who do you guys think is the next scoring leader? Because I think it's pretty obvious, but you know, y'all might have some different opinions on it. Leave them in the comments below and tweet me different NBA predictions I should do. So what other predictions do you want to see from me? Tweet me and check out my 2K channel because I've been posting over there for 2K17. It's lit, honestly, truly. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all on the flip side.